guys, it's Kayla and Mark Allen. We like to travel a lot, especially to Disney World. Follow along on our journey as we give you tips and tricks to help you create your own ever after. Good evening from Disney's Animal Kingdom. We've got a really fun kind of animal themed evening for you guys. We are soaking up the last like hour-ish of, <laughs> of the park opening or like park being open. And then we have a dinner tonight at Jico over at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. Which Jico just reopened yesterday. yesterday. So they do have some new things on the menu. We've actually eaten at Jico before, but a long time ago, literally like five trip. years ago. Yeah. So it's been a while. We've been waiting for this one to reopen, and we were super excited that it was happening during our trip. Yeah. So we are definitely eating there tonight and it eating is... a lot of yummy food and giving you guys a review. Yeah. We're excited. Uh, we are going to check out some of the 50th special, uh, I guess, events. So if they you will. have the Tree of Life Awakened, um, which is kind of like a little light projection. Thing. Um, and then they have Beacons of Magic, which is also a little light projection thing, but that one is specifically for the 50th anniversary. Right. We have not been to Animal Kingdom at night in a very long time, right. so we're excited to kind of take a peek at some yeah. of that. I'm so excited to see Pandora at night again. Our, yeah, I was going to say, we might try and jump on a ride right before park close, um, just because we've got the time, and yeah, we want to see Pandora at night too. So, let's, uh, we're just hanging out, and enjoying the beautiful tree of life. also got the night blossom which I don't know why it's taken us this long to finally try a night blossom but you know that is good is that, like, sugar overload? it's very sweet very very sweet it's actually very creamy it's basically like kind of like a slurpee basically is what it tastes like okay actually you know what it tastes like it basically tastes, and it's kind of like almost the consistency of like slightly melted sherbet, like lime sherbet. It's good though. I like it. I would definitely get this again. Not a right coffee, right?
Alright, well we just got off Navi River Journey about 10 minutes later. Look at my teeth glow. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Um, I love that ride. I know a lot of people yeah. aren't like the biggest fans of that ride, but I really like that ride. I'm definitely glad it was not the posted 55 minute wait. Yeah, no, honestly I think we waited 15 minutes and so... I don't even know if it was that long. Maybe. I will say, I think they do inflate the ride times or the wait time, sorry. Um, yeah. At the end of the night to kind of dissuade people from getting in line. But you are allowed to get in line up to like the last minute the of last our minute. open. Yeah. Um, so don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to do that to hop in line. Because here's the thing. At the, at the end of the day, you're going to have to wait an hour at the bus stop in line anyway. So you might right. as well spend that hour waiting in line and then head to your bus or whatever transportation. Right. You and you're doing something fun versus just yes. like waiting at the bus stop with nowhere to sit down yeah so so now we are gonna head out and um head to our dinner reservation at Jico, and i'm really excited i think i can't get over like the color of my teeth right now forget to bang on the drums, it's fun. to our table here at Jico and guys I am so stinking it's excited uh, so not only is this restaurant delicious but it has a really special nostalgia for Mark Allen and I this is the very 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 first Disney restaurant that we ever ate at together um, we stayed at Animal Kingdom Lodge on our honeymoon trip back in 2017 and so this was like our very first Disney experience that kind of started everything um so i'm like seriously so excited to be here tonight we got probably more food than we're going to be able to eat but we're excited to review it for you guys and share it with you to let you know our thoughts and maybe hopefully give you an idea on whether or not this might be a good restaurant to add to your next trip and if you want some help with that too don't forget i am a travel agent and you can book your trip with me i can help you with all of your planning and give you all the tips on where to go where not to go um, but there's more information about that in the description box below So for my first drink, yes, I'm getting more than one. I got the Jungle Punch and I'm reading off the menu here. It has house-made vanilla pineapple vodka infusion, which I think is super cool that it's house-made. Ancho, Reyes, liqueur, and pineapple juice, which I think this is gonna be absolutely fantastic. I think, I haven't even tried it yet, but I love anything pineapple. That's really good. Yeah, the pineapple is fantastic. Um, the alcohol flavor is not super, super strong. Um, definitely more of a fruity cocktail, so if that is more your style, um, I think it's a great choice, because it's, it, again, it's not super, super boozy. And I got the Kanyu Old Fashioned, which is whiskey, orange bitters, bitters, Madagascar bourbon vanilla. So, a little more, you know, uh, I don't want to say heavier, more like har hard liquor. I don't know. <laughs> An adult drink? An adult drink. It's not as fruity as Mark Allen's. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Ooh, that's really good. Ooh. You can really taste that vanilla and the orange. It kind of gives it a little bit of like a creamsicle 
old fashioned. Like, that's pretty tasty. I like that. Our meal does come with bread service, so I believe he called this Egyptian bread. It looks kind of like a like naan almost, and then it comes with this like whipped butter. Also, by the way, um, this is a, definitely a more upscale type restaurant. Like, he literally like came over and like unfolded my napkin and put it across my lap for me. Like, it's a little. The only place that has ever done that besides here is Victorian Alberts. So that tells you, I mean, don't like let that scare you. Like it's okay. Like it doesn't have to be that fancy, but this is definitely a more kind of upscale restaurant. So it's Jico butter um, and it has black sea salt on it. Hold on. I think that's a goat cheese butter. No, that's definitely a goat cheese butter. I didn't even know that was a thing. I love goat cheese. I'm gonna ask and confirm that, but oh my gosh, that is like the best butter I've ever had. <laughs> Okay, so we uh, got like second bread service. Um, he asked if we wanted more. We're like, sure. And we did confirm. So it, uh, the butter is, it's a mixture of cow's milk, goat milk, and goat cheese. It's incredible. Like, it's so good. Okay, sorry. All of our appetizers just arrived. Yes, it is goat's milk, cow's milk, and goat cheese butter. And it's seriously the most incredible butter I have ever had obviously you gotta like goat cheese if you don't like goat cheese you may or may not like it I, but goat cheese is literally my favorite cheese I know I'm gonna say literally like a million times but it really really is my favorite and so I was very excited um, these appetizers look divine we got the Jico salad we got the duck confit uh, flatbread, and then we got the squash bisque, and they all look so stunningly beautiful and delicious. I think I might start with the flatbread, um, just because I think that's going to be the easiest thing to grab at the moment. Yum. The cheese is super juicy. The duck is cooked really well. It's very tender. And these little, um, they almost look like chickpeas. They might be chickpeas. I'll have to double check, but um, they give it a really nice crunch. So that is quite delicious. Uh, let me try a little bit of this uh, squash soup. It has like I don't know, pumpkin and a bunch, and there's an egg in it and a bunch of other stuff. That's so good. Again, it's incredibly flavorful, really creamy. There's a lot of different flavors going on. And so it doesn't, it's not just, I don't know, it's not just like a creamy soup. Like it really has a bunch of different layers of flavors and textures. And it's really cool, the presentation, um, cause they actually have like the egg with like some of the squash and other things on the plate. And then they pour the soup over top of it, which I don't think I've ever seen soup served that way. I think they might do a, a soup like that at Topolino's. Um, I feel like I've seen something like that, but I don't think I've really ever actually seen them serve soup that way. And I think that's so, so, so cool. Okay, uh, last thing I'll try is the salad and we'll let Mark Allen try hit the steak and mac and cheese later, but I'll do all these appetizers and we'll see. I almost broke a glass. I should move this. Oops. There's this like cream stuff on top. And I already tried a little taste of this. I have no idea what this is and I don't even know how to describe the flavor. This is the most interesting thing I think I've ever tasted. So this is more like a uh, quinoa salad. 
uh, so by salad, we have like a few of these little green sprigs on there. Um, but there's a ton of different vegetable things on top of it. And it's so beautiful. It's a really beautiful dish. That's a very light and refreshing dish. The quinoa is tossed in almost like a vinaigrette type flavor. And then the fruits and vegetables, well, mostly vegetables. I think there's like a watermelon thing on here. This is a carrot that they, they knotted. This is a knotted carrot, guys. Are we eating fancy food today? We sure are eating fancy food today because they knot the carrots and put them on your dish. I'm sorry. Um, that's delicious. If you're wanting a little bit lighter appetizer, I would highly, highly recommend that one. That is very good. We're gonna eat all this now. We'll come back for Mark Allen's steak. All right, so our main entree has arrived and we got the, I would say infamous, Chico filet mignon. So it's oak grilled. It also comes with their very famous mac and cheese and cauliflower. And honestly, this, oh, the sauce is also, um, it's a, he's called it like a dark chocolate um, glaze and I just remember, oh yeah. Just like putting my knife into this, oh yeah. I can already tell like just cutting into it, it cuts like butter. When Kayla and I came here um, back on like our honeymoon trip, this was the meal that we got. And to this day, this has still been probably one of the best steaks I've ever had. It's so good. It's cooked beautifully. The most tender filet I've ever had. I'm not even saying, like, just saying that to say it. It is, like, honestly, I could cut this with a butter knife almost. And that sauce is so good. There is, like, a little, I can't quite tell what it is. There's something on top of the steak that's, like, kind of green and, like, pureed, maybe. And it gives that a really excellent flavor. If you're coming here, you have to get this steak. No questions. So I will say, I think the mac and cheese is different than what it has been in the past. I was worried at first because it doesn't look like super creamy, like how I prefer my mac and cheese. It's definitely more of a, a thicker cheese, but like <laughs> there, there's a lot of cheese. He said there's four different cheeses in this. It has such a great, great cheese flavor. The noodles are cooked beautifully. Now onto the cauliflower. So I got it with that sauce from the steak. Hands down, this is one of the best meals I've ever had on Disney property. Not even, like, I know that's bold, but mm, it's so good. But it was our favorite last time too, so yeah. I'm not really surprised. Yeah, it's... We've been dreaming about this I'm steak so for four years, you guys. Like, yeah. literally. <laughs> yeah. I am so glad that Jiko is back. For my second drink, I did get the glass of wine that um, they recommend for the filet. Um, the really cool thing about all the wines here is they're all from South Africa, which is one of the only places I feel like that you can, on Disney property that you can get South African wines. Maybe Wine Bar George, maybe. Um, but it's phenomenal. I'm not a wine sommelier, so I can't quite place all, th all the notes, but it's incredibly smooth, not very dry. And it, yeah, it pairs really well, especially, especially with that glaze. I'm like speechless. Okay, and then I got the wine that pairs with the flatbread. Um, it's, I can't, again, I can't remember exactly what it is. It's the sparkling wine, but it is the one that pairs with that. Um, but I'm gonna give this a go. Ooh. That's really good. It's kind of fruity, 
but has a good like earthiness to it. And you definitely can taste like the sparkling, like the bubbliness of it. That's delicious. I love it. My after dinner drink, I got the Kiyoki coffee, which is brandy, Kahlua, Bowles dark cream de cacao, and coffee topped with whipped cream. And I, I really love like. Oh no, you're about to lose that whipped cream, man. <laughs> You got it on your mustache now. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> oh. That makes me very happy. Don't mind the uh, whipped cream in my mustache. Oh, that is fantastic. That coffee is really good. Clue is good. It's creamy with a whipped cream. It's like the perfect after dinner drink. I think honestly one of the best, not that I've had a lot of like after dinner, like coffee drinks like this, but it's one of the better ones that I've had. It's, it's really good. The coffee is nice and smooth, not bitter. The whipped cream does give it some sweetness. So if you're not like a super like to me, I, I love this because I, I like more the coffee flavor, but if you're not like a, like if you don't drink your coffee black, I will say the whipped cream, like you should drink it like that because it does kind of basically mix in with that cream um, and kind of alleviates some of that bitter coffee taste that a lot of people associate with dark coffee. So fantastic. This dessert, I don't, I don't know if this is new to the menu or not, it's so a cool thing about Chico is they have these birds and and they're like all throughout the restaurant and stunningly beautiful when you see them. Um, but they are apparently like an African bird and this dessert mimics that bird. And it looks like it's sitting on like a little egg that's in a nest but he also said the little like raspberry, like I think he said raspberry puree is supposed to mimic the crabs. Crops. It, the crops? The crops. Oh, I thought he said crabs. <laughs> what, that doesn't make any sense. I don't what, know. What, what part of that makes you think that, what part of that looks like a crab to you? <laughs> I'm three drinks in, leave me alone. <laughs> so it's supposed to mimic the crops in Africa and it's just, it's beautiful. The dessert that we got, I guess I should tell you about it. This is the Malva Pudding. It's milk turt ice cream, Katifi, Kanu Tuli, and Cabernet Jelly. I'm probably, I guarantee you, I'm butchering some I like of the pronunciation. you just said jelly, like jelly. It's G E L E with the K and the E. All oh, those flavors go so well together. The ice cream is so good. Surprisingly, that little bird wing thing it's like nice and soft wow it's really good i will say it's a lighter dessert so if you're if that's more your jam yeah this is a great option all right and i got the zebra teeny which is basically like a chocolate and white chocolate and some other stuff martini uh looks delicious it was really fun they bring it out in the chocolate like zebra striped glass and then they pour your drink in it it's super full, so I can't like pick it up right now. <laughs> it's very chocolatey, but like in the best way. Um, it's really creamy and smooth. It's not super like, I mean, it tastes like alcohol, but like not like super a ton. I like that a lot. That's a good one. I'm so, so happy that we came here. Like this is just, everything has been completely knockout out of the park. And I'm just, I'm really happy that we were able to finally come back here.
so I will say we are here the <laughs> second night after it opened mm -hmm. and it was seriously just such a vibe in there. You could tell the cast members were just so, so happy to mm -hmm. be back. Um, our server in particular, um, he is brand new to Chico. He came after being at Liberty Tree Tavern. For 15 years. Yeah, which I was like, wow, that's commitment, man. <laughs> yeah, but honestly, like the way that he knew the menu and yeah. talked to everything, oh, talked everything amazing. over with us. Like, I, I could have sworn that he would have been at Jico for 15 years. But even there was other, there was other, like, waitresses that came over and were talking yeah. to us and, like, helping us, like, okay, so with your dessert, like, trying to eat it, like, this particular way to yeah. get the most flavors. And, like, they were talking and, like, you know, it was just, you could tell. Everyone was so excited. Everyone was so nice. Like, we even told them because we were, like, the last. <laughs> we closed the place we down. We closed the place down. We're like, oh, you can get us our ticket. We'll get you out of your hair. And she's like, please don't. Please don't. She's like, I'll happily go home at 3 a.m. As long as you guys are happy. And I'm like, oh, my God, please don't do that. But <laughs> they were, yes. Yeah, Honestly, so yeah. Nice. The, the experience, the food, the drinks, like, 10 out of 10. Yeah. One of one of actually no i think it is the best dining experience to to date that we've had on property I, like it is it is for sure my top pick if you guys are looking for something that is something a little more upscale a little nicer a little more like pampered it's a very pampered experience yeah. for sure they do take annual pass which mm -hmm. will definitely help yes um, it does not count for alcohol um right. which that's going to be for any disney restaurant so just keep right. that in mind um so our ticket was pretty pricey because we got a lot of drinks yeah it was incredible. it was a great night i think pairing that with just spending some time at animal kingdom then coming here and kind of just having that whole vibe is a lot of fun and yeah i think this is like one of our favorite types of thing. Like this is our favorite thing about Disney. It's just, you can fully immerse yourself yeah. in your experiences. And I love that. But that's pretty much all we have for you guys today. Yeah, we and let us know if you have been to Jico before. Um, we wanna know your thoughts or, or if you're planning on coming soon. Yeah. Um, because we honestly could not recommend it enough. Yeah. Um, make sure you're subscribed because we have a ton more videos that are coming out. Um, and yeah, that's, that's it. That's all we got for you guys today. Now, now go, go create, create your, your ever, ever after. after. Do you use that whitening stuff? No. I do. Why are my teeth so, my whose, teeth are not this white. Whose teeth are whiter? Put in the comments below <laughs> whose teeth are whiter. This is whiter. hilarious. Your teeth are like Can we smirking. take a picture? <laughs> Does it look like that on here? Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Ready? Hold really still. What are you doing? Trying to get it to focus on my face. Why? Do you have more to say? Yes. I have lots to say. There. Ha 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 ha!